Hi guys, welcome to Matchbox Garage. Um, I've been having a bit of a, a tidy up, so I thought I would kind of show you my new little setup and also maybe just go through some of the bits that I use and would recommend. Um, big old flag there. Uh, let's start from this side. Um, I've got some bits and pieces. Uh, normally I have my, as you can see, uh, laptop on there which is just sitting in there right now but um, it, this is not kind of final um, I've been working all weekend to basically paint this wall and get some shelves up and kind of uh, set myself up but I kind of thought well I'm maybe 90% there so before I do finish I thought maybe I'll just do a little video of uh, what I've got. Um, let's pull some of this stuff out. But um, obviously cloths I use a lot of and napkins. Um, I go through a lot of these. We've got some uh, thinner, which of course we use. That's some floor polish. We use that for some of the windscreens. Um, the old clear shot glasses I use for paint mixing ah I needed uh, some more of these I was just about to make an order um, lollipop sticks I use for stirring paint some kind of bags and stuffs you know kind of doing this hobby um, I find at least that I go through so much um, kind of rubbish you know trash this is a uh, now the bag of the old steel uh, wire attachments. So that's just this drawer. Some paints. Uh, this is, for the most part, the clear coat that I use. Um, I do also use one via the airbrush, but for the most part, uh, this is the stuff that I use um, and of course my kind of go-to uh, primer for the black primer um, and like pound shop I've got some matte silver which is great for bases plus I actually um, don't have any at the moment but the black I've uh, actually used up um, I started to for whatever reason thought it'd be a good idea to start spray painting the uh, wall there but uh, black spray paint especially from the pound shop went as far as I don't know maybe one foot square here's a drawer of sandpaper or foam backed sandpaper for the most part a lot of this is kind of smaller off cuts that I bought from a car auto repair kind of place a lot of their off cuts um, mainly I use a very fine um, sandpaper probably around about a 1200 grit for most of the stuff I use um, just some other bits in there um, one of the um, was it uh, Ellie's uh, tool there um, which I use it when I really need some power um, and this is a cloth that um, I cover with the degreaser and this I think they call it crow's foot and uh, yeah it just comes you know it's almost like a paper but supposedly you don't get any like little bits uh, that come off and like panel wipes you know um, I think they call it panel wipe paper it's quite expensive actually but anyway uh, coming around here um, Obviously, we've got the probably easier standing up. Got the uh, paint booth in a new position. These are really handy. They uh, clip on and they've got little magnets there so that uh, 
when I use my forceps well just to grab a set out for as an example of course you've got a car there you're painting and then putting it up there to you know to dry or get get it out of the way but uh, yeah those are really handy got my little I don't even know what's it called the Switzer just a little tiny cheap compressor that I picked out of uh, Amazon obviously this you know goes out of the window um, hello and uh, some other bits that we've got um, a paintbrush there I'll just use that to basically tidy up inside the uh, the paint booth um, of course you've always got to wear your respirator when painting um, the kettle that I use unfortunately never for a nice cup of tea I uh, do that down in the kitchen but for up here it's just simply used for the uh, caustic soda oh, you know this light pretty much was lighting up everything uh, from my previous maybe a year's worth of videos it's found itself in a new place just over the uh, paint booth here um, and then I've got a, a larger uh, kind of studio light which again was was above me but now it's really above the kind of uh, workstation now uh, here is the what they call this a light room um, and of course you've got the carousel there um, I've always had a white background, but I'm going to kind of trial some uh, black backgrounds on that one. Um, it's got a USB uh, here for all the lights. The actual lights are on the back there, that uh, little LEDs. So, um, yeah, I'll just plug that into my laptop and then, uh, you know, take the pictures, take the kind of... Um, you know the carousel the way that I actually set it up is I use now like I say not everything is in the easiest place or right place right now but I use when I take pictures and I've done this from the very start so I've kind of kept it uniform um, basically I put this that 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 jar and then I kind of set it up just like that, you know. Um, zoom in and take my pictures, what have you. But uh, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too special. Um, that's kind of, you know, behind the scenes what it looks like. Um, but putting this back there for now, and uh, I'll just leave that down. With the uh, drawer set up, well, I've got some kitchen roll here which I'll really I'll just use to just kind of clean up after me once I've done a lot of um, you know using the wire wheel to take off any kind of crud and muck uh, wet wipes you know clean my hands got some proper gloves and um, they're chemical gloves um, mainly for of course when I do the uh, caustic soda uh, but yeah going through these drawers what have we got um, of course we've got different uh, forceps or people call them different names I just call them a forceps we've got the you know, this type which is really good especially for the larger heavier uh, castings we have uh, toothbrushes um, I only really use these now when I've um, you know I take it down to the bathroom and once I've used the caustic soda you know give it a little scrub different kind of paint brushes for different applications um, I don't think there's anything else in there other than oh I bought some what are these these are cocktail sticks or something like that or skewers for but like barbecue skewers and uh, I've got these little kind of alligator clips and I'll sometimes use those for say if I'm doing an interior Something like that um, I'll use those instead of the uh, forceps uh, what have I got in here 
this is a bit too aggressive really for the die cast um, I need to take that out to be honest um, this the wife's been wondering where it's gone um, but I use that on some of the die cast to you know melt it or heat it up so that it bends a little bit easier uh, just a little tool kit in there um, this of course is where I use for all my interiors and stuff you know clean it out um, let's grab me a chair in this drawer um, we have I'll tell you what these are these are handy um, this is a kind of Chinese knockoff but it is five second fix there you go um, so it's like a resin glue and then um, you know UV to set it um, but yeah really handy um, that's the proper stuff bondic um, but it's about ten times more expensive um, so you know you get there you go you get what you pay for but I've run out of that stuff um, obviously leads for when I um, you know plug it into my laptop um, I've got you haven't seen these for probably quite a while now but I had the tack lifes both of them eventually the batteries died unfortunately and I need to replace the batteries I do have replacements uh, some paints in here the um, Valio or the Bayejo um, just some random different uh, colors in here this one I haven't used for a little while this is the only Createx uh, airbrush color that I have I've had that for a long time um, some other bits like uh, I've got some uh, mecha varnish didn't really get on with that and same again with the uh, uh, polyurethane uh, gloss varnish I didn't get on with that either but um, you know you never know when you may need to use it again uh, some of me acrylic paints they're either all the Tamiya lots of different colors or we got some of the, um, the Bejo, um model colors all different uh, types in there in here some spray paints um, that's a I think in America you call it the exacto knife and with some different attachments uh, here is a box of LEDs which I've been using a couple of times for so, you know replacing sirens and stuff like that um, what else is in there oh there you go so there's a knife and I've been wondering where that was but we've got some uh, very fine tape there um, my little drawer of enamel paints they got very different ones and trying to look through the camera and uh, using my hand at the same time is proving difficult but uh, yeah various different bits in there um, in here this I guess you could say other than all these different levers if you remember a little while ago i done a um, a mini from a film and uh, these are all the different levers that actually never got used but ultimately this is my drawer that I kind of keep all my um, stuff for like gas lands and uh, you know post-apocalyptic Mad Max stuff and uh, yeah this is the uh, um, Kimes or cam seal designs and um, they're still putting out a load of bits and pieces but uh, yeah, all the skulls and stuff like that um, of course you've got to have you know cloths I'll uh, little polishing cloths um, my little stack of kind of uh, napkins that I keep always to the side of me I go through a lot of those really come in handy um, but uh, coming up for here we have uh, more paints I'll keep these together the uh, premium range uh, Bejo. Um it's got two lots of metallic and we've got one lot of uh, candies there the green stuff world stuff so we've got candies and color shifts um, a lot of the wheels I use are green light wheels and you get like packs of four for really I, th I think I pay about I can't remember four or five pound so you know per set of wheel is like one pound 
so a dollar fifty something like that um, this is a um, I'm literally right on the dregs of it but it's actually um, green stuff world paint remover and uh, I do need to get myself another kind of set of or another load of that some uh, tins of paint in the back there or spray cans um, this is my microphone that I use it's a, um, a I think is it called a Blue Yeti Snowball or Blue Yeti something like that um, really good I've uh, added this oh there you go look yeah uh, you know it says blue blue yeti but yeah that's without the and this kind of stops the you know the P's and the B's kind of kind of thing but anyway the uh, Dremel Micro great little tool um, the famous foot long hot dog jar uh, version 2 of course uh, you never know when you need whiskey um, but over here just kind of like cleaning stuffs um, we've got the uh, Mr. Colour levelling thinner which I uh, I do use a lot obviously the humble thinners for the uh, enamels um, some more green stuff well thinner I don't really use that too often but um, we've got the um, I'll put it in a jar as well but that's the pledge uh, revive it floor uh, polish stuff great stuff white spirit I use for cleaning out my um, which I didn't even show you my airbrush when I use enamels um, I use a, a neo for eye water and uh, yeah, it's a bit dusty at the moment but otherwise uh, I keep it in this little pot and to be honest I used to use that to spray out inside the pot but now I just spray straight into the uh, into the bin um, just find it a little bit easier but uh, yeah sugar soap if needed ah oh, this I couldn't live uh, without this stuff this is a uh, deluxe brush magic that I for the most part that in that one there it's just water and I'll use you know water to just clean out the um, the airbrush especially when using acrylics and then just finish off with brush magic just to make sure I really get it out obviously if I'm using enamels I'll use the white spirit followed by the brush magic but that is that should be in your top five of uh, you know certainly whatever you'll need uh, coming up the top here we got obviously for my drill a charger there's a guitar holder but in here is the um, kind of wheels for polishing like polishing wheels in there um, that's an unboxing I've still got to do um, obviously you've got all the Dremel attachments there's you know loads in here um, and then like this this thing here is a um, if it will focus it's like a jeweler's mat it's made out of sand and I'll use that to you know kind of bashing out something that's really good quite quite heavy probably weighs about a kilo and a half maybe two kilos so um, yeah. whoops what was that you never know when you've got an itchy back scratch your back um, yeah all the bits and pieces in there you can never have too much I don't think um, what else have we got up here? The uh, oh, the Neo for I water. Uh, that's just the box and with instructions and stuff like that. Um, syringes in here, uh, but more of um. Well, let me just pull it down. I prefer these ones because they don't seem to have any kind of release agent in them. Um, they're flimsy and they're one-time use, but. Um, yeah, they don't seem to what I was finding was that when I use uh, like these syringes and I use syringes for um, paint you know kind of paint mixing you know, if I know that I need one part paint to one part thinner um, I use these kind of syringes of course there's no needles in these but um, I'm finding that they have some kind of release agent in them and uh, I was getting fish eye in the paint and I just could never figure out why it was and I switched out, like I say, uh, to these other ones, and sure enough, it seemed to be fine. Um, here's some more. I don't really use these, 
not because they don't do a, a good job, but because they make such a mess. But yeah, they um they take paint off no problem. Um, well, so we've got a, a gimbal for a camera, but my phone I use a Huawei P20 Pro. I've got a P30 Pro to switch to, but um, that's what all of my kind of footage is filmed on and um, that um, gimbal is just not strong enough but uh, anyway uh, what do we have various thinners obviously the uh, the lube that I use um, you need to lube up your piece you do not want to snap it um, just a little light uh, what do we have in here um, in here various screwdrivers files um obviously like grips and pliers in here we have the um, plastic polish some kind of glues um the chrome that there that's the uh that fills up the chrome pen um, in here we have a load of uh, decals here is my kind of wheel drawer lots of different uh, wheel sets in there um, here is where I keep my uh, caustic soda I've just had a new pack delivered um, the one I normally used to buy from since kind of original lockdown back in about April time I've not been able to buy from so I've been trialing different places um, little hammer that I use quite often um, Tamiya tape which I would definitely recommend um, obviously when we tape up our cars to try and put you know a racing stripe or two-tone or whatever it may be um, I've used different tapes before and then it rips off the, the paint and it's you know it's heartbreaking but these um tamiya tapes don't seem to do that so yeah recommend that kind of stuff got some uh epoxy putty there for various different uses um this is a uh, beeswax that i use to seal my uh, airbrush we've got a load of um decals here um this is uh, Chris over at uh, SK uh, Works or Sideways King 75. Of course, a fellow YouTuber. Um, check out his uh, channel or his website for the decals. He does great decals. Um, have I done this drill? Yeah. And then I've seen more attachments. We've got the very handy vice toothpicks. I go through. A load of toothpicks. I use these for almost like a little um, kind of paint brushes, you know, for headlights and stuff like that. Um, various bits and pieces. Uh, like I say, I've got the lollipop sticks there for paint stirring. Um, various different bits in here. Um, one of the things when you find you've got a base with some kind of outy um, rivets you know you put that in the middle and then give yourself a little something to actually you know drill into um, oh that's just the little cleaners for the airbrush various pens paint pens chrome pens um, the sharpies, all different bits there. Super glue. Um, these are pretty much the go-to. So we got um, which is a four millimeter, and then in the bottom there will be the one point six millimeter. So drilling down the center of the post, removing the flange, and uh, oh tap in the hole there's my tap and T handle there 
Um, what else do we have? Ah, oh, some more syringes in there. Some little polishing bits there. I use various kind of nail files and there are some real like uh, files in there as well for various reasons. You see my little tray of steel wire attachments there. In the bottom here just replacement uh, sticks for bits and pieces and you know stuff to put things around. Um, this here is pretty much the arm that uh, is look how floppy it is and uh, yeah that is pretty much you know, where I hold my camera into you know I'm trying to find a, a position for it to, to sit um, but like I said I'm actually yeah anyway it doesn't want to sit on there today but um, yeah that's pretty much where everything is filmed from from this arm uh, but now that I've had a bit of a change around, I might need to change that arm. But uh, going into these little sections, so you got it's a bit dark over here. Um, but uh, yeah, you got some obviously cars that I've done. Ah, oh, look, there's uh, the original footlong hot dog jar. I was going to chuck it out, but I kept it for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, some cars that I've recently done. And uh, see if I can scoot over here. Um, my box of kind of, uh, I guess, army themed cars and paints um, in the corner there is a lot of my uh, packaging stuff. So there'll be bubble wrap and tape, and then down below is all the kind of uh, cardboard boxes. Um, but in here, there's you know, kind of trays of cars and you'll find that those are all matchbox and they'll be kind of super fast uh, era um, on top of here I've got some some kind of bits and pieces um, a bit of a, a messy drawer that I, a miscellaneous drawer that I just need to or shelf rather that I need to organize but um, you know I, I prefer to organize my cars in such so these are a lot of the old Lesney stuff um, that I've yet to do or plan to do um, coming around this side a big box of kind of bits and pieces and parts um, just a little little uh, husky drawer uh, not not too much going on in there. Um, Ertl drawer. Uh, what's this one? Oh, a dinky drawer. A miscellaneous bits and pieces that I need to kind of get back onto the wall. Uh, this is a miscellaneous, so lots of different uh, kind of manufacturers in here. So you've got a, a Siku there. Uh, what's that? Uh, Tamika, um, a Roadmaster, is it a oh, Lone Star? So yeah, kind of stuff that I don't have drawers for. Um, in here, a lot of my steel packaged and boxed cars. Of uh, the children were kind of having a look at the other day. Some more. You got more drawers there of Matchbox. Heavier and more filled as they go down, and then kind of, I guess, kind of last, but no, not not least. But um, I, this one is uh, marked up as Matchbox. I did have a lot of Matchbox in there, um, but I think I've got those ones in the bottom there. I need to transfer back. This is all Corgi, so. That's all corgi in there, and then I've got a majorette stroke Hot Wheels, which I've kind of halved off there. So I've got older Hot Wheels in the back, and then majorette in the front. Um, this is one of my children's. Um, 
I've got a few t-shirts that I need to get. I had a few of these t-shirts up on the wall and they're either t-shirts that, you know, um, fantastic subscribers have either sent through to me or they're t-shirts of YouTube channels that I enjoy watching. Um, underneath here, I haven't shown, um, box of wires. We all need a box of wires. The radiator shouldn't really be underneath there right now, but it is just to get out of the way. Um, this is, you put a, a drill in and then you can kind of, you know, like a drill press, but it's it's useless. Um, my intention was to do or use this for the whole, um, you know, like Marty's method on the older Lesney stuff, but yeah, never got around to it. Um, the eyes, who was it? The ionized water. I was going to use that for something. Can't really remember. Um, like I say, the the degreasing that I use in between. Um, obviously after polishing it up before going with the um, the primer my laptop where all the magic happens I wonder whether anyone would be interested in kind of an, an, I guess like a, a behind the scenes on editing a video and how I do it what I do and I'm very very basic I use the most basic tools and methods and ways and I guess that comes off, you know, comes across on my videos, but, um, you know, um, but people still may want to see how, how it's done. Um, the vacuum, of course, we need this, all the bits and pieces there plugged in some stuff. I've still got to organize. Uh, these are actually like reptile lights that I put and they give off, they give off just enough heat to kind of help dry out a build um a little set of scales there um for when i send stuff out in the post um here is quite a big and this is all full of uh larger scale cards and i've got a lot a lot here um look at that that's cool isn't it so that's one i'll do one day um yeah you know i prefer the smaller stuff but with the larger scale stuff it is it's interesting as well because you can get a bit more detail you know but um yeah as i try and scoot back a bit to get a bit of an overview i won't show behind me because it's i'm in my loft and it's otherwise just a, a dumping ground you know oh did i show that light up there um you know i'm going to put some memorabilia on the walls here here um, like at the beginning of the video, I used to have up all my um, kind of uh, USA license plates, but I've I've moved those now, um, so they're you know coming up my stairs, so I can see those every time. Um, that's a previous. I think I've shown people before. Um, I had a previous channel which hit a hundred thousand subscribers, but nothing to do with uh, diecast, but. I've, I've stopped that now and concentrate on this one. But um, anyway, yeah, this is, yeah, look, I've pulled all stuff out. I need to tidy up again. But uh, yeah, this is Matchbox Garage. And uh, I've needed a bit of a tidy up and a bit of a change around to give it a bit of a fresh feel and look. And, um, you know, if there's anything there that you want me to kind of dive into a little bit more, just ask down in the uh, comments and I'll try and try my best to explain. Um, a lot of this stuff is in the Amazon links as well. I've tried to link most stuff. But uh, anyway, that's it from me. I'll uh, see you soon on the, uh, on the next video. Cheers, guys.